Ben Houchen caused a stir back in 2017 when he was elected the North East's first Metro Mayor. Three years later, he's seeking re-election for a second term with unfinished business to attend to. I stand before you to make another promise today. If elected, I am announcing that I will bring back steelmaking to Teesside. This is a solemn pledge to the people of Teesside, Darlington and Hartlepool to right that significant injustice. I will work tirelessly to deliver the investment and jobs needed in our steel industry. The types of jobs we deserve and the types of jobs we lead the world in skills. It's come from working over the last three years, looking at things like the bold pledge on the airport and saying, actually, with the right plan and the right attitude and the right idea, can this be done? Well, we delivered on the airport and working on the old SSI Steelworks site, managing the development corporation, looking to attract new investment. Over the last three years, we've developed a plan that shows there is clearly an opportunity to bring back large scale, scale steel making to Teesside, millions of tons of steel being produced and also hopefully an additional rolling mill to supplement the amazing work at Lackenby and Skinning Grove. Speaking at A.V. Dawson in Middlesbrough, Mr Houchen emphasised his record in office from the purchase of the Tees Valley Airport and the establishment of a £35 million investment fund for local businesses. I'm, I'm just really pleased to be able to get back to it. I've got the day job. I'm still working on delivering, as I say, things like on-demand bus services, the redevelopment of Darlington, Middlesbrough Station, the new Tees Crossing, all of those things that people already know that I'm working on. But today is about setting out the start of a vision for the next four years. Joining Mr Houchen with the newly elected Conservative MPs for Sedgefield and Redka, as well as Northern Powerhouse Minister Jake Berry and Chief Secretary to the Treasury Rishi Sunak. You know, Ben's victory three years ago was actually, as it turned out, a foretaste of what was to come. If you look at what happened in the general election just a few weeks ago, it was Conservative Party winning in places like Tees Valley across the country, towns, not cities. And I always say the North doesn't stop at Manchester. The North is not just about big cities like Manchester and Leeds. It's about fantastic towns like Darlington and Hartlepool, Teesside. You know, Ben was the first person to really, from our side, champion that. And you've seen that work carry on in the local council level as well uh, and in the local general in the last general election we've just had so there's enormous positivity and excitement about what's possible here Steelmaking has a long history on Teesside. In 2015, 3,000 people lost their jobs when the Thai-owned SSI collapsed, but operations still exist at British Steel in Lackenby and Skinning Grove. Labour unveiled Jesse Jo Jacobs as their candidate in October. She founded the Stockton charity A Way Out, which supports vulnerable women and young people facing issues surrounding addiction and exploitation. But there will be plenty of time for voters to make up their minds. The election will take place in May. Sophie Halsey in Middlesbrough.